Hey guys, Zach here from Tukes and Tires. Uh, I know a couple of you guys have been asking about the wagon that's in the background here and you want to know the story on it. So I'm going to give you guys the deets. Um, so this is our 57 Chevy Bel Air 210. Um, it's my dad's project. Uh, we've owned it for, oh man, I don't know how many years now. I've just been collecting parts. Uh, I was born and raised in a Tri-5 family. We have other cars and, you know, this one just kind of went suit of owning another Tri-5. Um, but with this one, like, we know our other ones are a little more traditional that are, like, you know, red and white. But this one, we want to go a little, you know, kind of, I don't know what you'd call it, like, a uh, hot rod, little cruising thing. So it's going to be on the front. Uh, it's going to be, like, silver flames that go into, like, kind of like a purple candy at the front, heavy metal flake. Uh, the back is gonna be satin. Uh, I don't know if the uh, if the roof is gonna get painted maybe with metal flake, no idea yet. If I can convince my dad into that, I think it'd be pretty cool. Um, so far, the work that's been done on the car, uh, this as well as my truck uh, needed full back quarters. So both sides have had uh, rear quarters done on it. You can see inside it's just, full of all the parts that go on it and uh engine wise it's been a big toss up if my dad just wants to go this regular small block chevy or if he's gonna do a uh ls swap but if he goes ls swap he's been talking maybe like twin turbo or something like that it's really it's it's up there in the air but yeah it's pretty sweet i don't know it's kind of tight back here if you guys can see what it looks like. Um, I think we we bought it off of a guy. I think it was up like uh, it was like Niagara Falls way. Um, he basically had everything to do the car. So we were like, hey, we'll jump on that deal. But I mean, so this is where I need your guys' help. So my dad, you know, he's getting up there. Uh, he needs some motivation, so I need you guys to comment down below to tell my dad to get out here to work on it so I can film him working on this thing, because I know you guys probably want to see some work done on it, and so do I, so I mean, we got to help the guy out, but, you know, hey, that's okay, we all get like that every now and then, you, you know, you got so many projects, and you gotta take a break from one every now and then, but that's okay, but, um, I guess I could do a little update on my truck too because you haven't seen that. Um, so right now, I like it got done in my last video, I got the whole side painted on it and uh, I just started uh, working on this down here but you'll see that on the uh, next video and me doing the cab mounts. Uh, so that video will be coming out uh, next week so you'll see that. And, uh, yeah, so that's a little update on my truck and the, the story behind the wagon. If you want any more info on it or, you know, anything about it, just let me know down in the, in the comments down there. I think that's what people say. I don't know. Um, yeah, it's pretty sweet, uh, sweet car. I like this thing. I'd like to see it move and get done. So you guys got a comment down there. I need your help. Okay, be really appreciated. Even though he's still procrastinate, but that, that's okay. All right, guys, that'll be your update for the week. Um, working hard trying to get this next video out, so I'll get you out that next week. But uh, thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to salute the beaver. See you later. Thanks, guys.